Oh, those wacky GOP establishment types. Senator Marco Rubio, whom the Rhino establishment is sort of getting behind now after a major campaign disaster that is Jeb Bush and before that Scott Walker, is now, get this, defending the country of Turkey, which of course yesterday shot down a Russian plane over Syria and then really committed a war crime by shooting the pilots uh, of that plane as they parachuted out. They also, for good measure, shot down, with an American weapon no less, the Russian rescue helicopter trying to rescue pilots, which of course is a humane thing for Russia to be doing. That's a part of uh, civilized countries' approaches to war, not leaving soldiers behind. But here is Marco Rubio defending them. I wonder, by the way, what he would say if someone asked him about the genocide of Armenian Christians 100 years ago by Muslim Turkey, but that's a digression. From an article on all this at thehill.com, Rubio warned against letting Russia get the upper hand. It's important for us to be very clear that we will respond and defend Turkey if they come under assault from the Russians. Otherwise, the entire NATO alliance comes into question. Rubio, Rubio who is running for president, said on Fox News, If Russia believes that they can respond and retaliate against Turkey because NATO is not going to do anything about it, what they're basically doing is making the argument that NATO is no longer viable, that it is a feckless alliance. Hill.com notes that the incident was the first time a NATO member has shot down a Russian target since the Cold War, and it threatened to escalate the political tensions surrounding the four-year-old uh, civil war in Syria. You probably heard by now that Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, was quick to condemn Turkey's action, calling it a stab in the back from accomplices of terrorists. But Rubio urged forceful U.S. action, which would keep a lid on possible retaliation by Russia. Note the contrast in the following uh, statement. Note the contrast from the way Republican front runner has been describing Putin, uh, whom of course he'd have to deal with as president. According to Rubio, Vladimir Putin is a gangster and a criminal, but he is also a geopolitical actor who makes decisions on a cost-benefit analysis. Uh, sort of like, <laughs> well, insert a comment about Rubio and his credit cards there. But Rubio, Rubio was saying this on Fox. He will have to do something to save face, but ultimately he is not going to test the alliance if he believes the alliance is going to stand up to him because he will lose in that confrontation. Hold on. I got to... <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, because he will lose in that confrontation, and that would be an even bigger setback for him. Now we know that Barack Hussein Obama would stand by Turkey, which after all is a Muslim country. Larry Sinclair's former lover, a.k.a. Obama, said that Turkey has the right to defend its territory and its airspace. Let's keep in mind that the plane was shot down not in Turkey, but in Syria. And by the way, let's also keep in mind that when it comes to defend its territory, Obama isn't so into the whole defending borders from inv invading illegals thing. Now, the article I cite was, of course, posted on Free Republic, and there was not a whole lot of love for Turkey or for Senator Rubio there. The ghost of free first past wrote, utterly ridiculous. Defend against what? 17 seconds of airspace use? Turkey is the aggressor in this conflict. Gov Bean Counter called Rick Rubio a chicken hawk. Along those lines, William III wrote, suit up, Rubio, and go fight, you little sniveling twit. And GWGN02 wrote, McCain Jr., neocon warmonger, want to be someone important, Rubio? STFU. Fitar said, yeah, let's go to war with Russia to defend the Islamic under Erdogan, nation Turkey. From Russia's my teddy bear. Agreed. Utterly ridiculous. He's, he's a McCain boy. From Arthur McGowan. So Rubio wants World War III to defend Turkey's, quote, right to shoot down Russian planes? Uh, he also wrote, with Rubio at the behest of his donors, you'll get more gay persecution of Christians and world war on the side of the caliphate. And there was some criticism there also for NATO. P. Marlowe wrote, Turkey has no business being in NATO. NATO is a defense pact, not an aggression pact. NATO has no obligation to come to the aid of a country that engages in an overt act of war against Russia. To allow Turkey to push Putin's buttons and then rely on NATO to come to its defense makes NATO a suicide pact. They should be removed from NATO immediately. And we'll uh, close for now with this comment from Doc Coyote. Sorry, Rhino Ubio, still on Putin's side. And since Turkey is revealing its natural Muslim side, no one gives a smelly Obama thing about what Putin does to it. NATO is a joke. 